Hello Danny Rands and welcome to another book review. Uh, today I am going to be talking about The Other Misses by Mary Kubica. I had not read it, anything by Mary Kubica but I do have, I think uh, there's a book over here, The Good Girl by her on my bookshelf. I still haven't read it yet. I got it from someone at work um, but I was very excited to read this book by her. The premise of this book is that a couple and their son go to live with the uh, with their niece. The husband of the couple, his sister died and left the house and guardianship of the niece to this couple. And so they go and move in this house. The niece is very um, emo and like doesn't really like being with people and is all around just like really sketchy about her mom and what happened. So after they've been living there for a little bit, they find out that uh, a woman across the street had died and her daughter had found her, her young daughter had found her. Now, um, there are some other things that happen in this. The story kind of is told between um, the main narrator, her name is Sadie, and also uh, two other women. One is a, actually one is a young girl and one is a woman. And between the three of them, they tell this story. You aren't really sure how the other two stories connect to the main story until further on in the book and then you'll get it. So when I was researching this book a little bit there were a lot of people that were like this book is amazing like the twist I didn't even see coming and I have to say I have read a lot of mystery novels and I'm very analytical and I saw it coming. I knew kind of what was going to happen. I figured it out but I, I, I still thought the writing was really good that's not to say that if you read this book you won't think that it's a little bit different and you won't see the twist coming because maybe you won't but I did so um, I ended up giving it three stars just because of that um, I was a little disappointed because I really heard a lot of good things about this author and I'm not saying that she's a bad author because she's not it, the book was written well but what was what I did notice is uh, a couple people I talked to on Instagram were like yeah, I can't get through this book. And honestly, when I started reading it, I was exactly the same way. Like the first half of it, I I almost put the book down. I almost DNF'd it. Um, but I kept it going and I'm glad I did because there was some stuff in it that I thought was really well written. Again, this this book does has already come out because um, I'm a little late with this review, but it already did come out. So make sure you check it out. I'll have all the information down below. If you're interested in reading it, it is kind of a thriller and uh, yeah, if you're if you're not really looking for the signs in this book, I think you're going to be very surprised. So, thank you so much for watching our little mini book review, and until next time, stay zany.